Hi, welcome to another video. So, I've done some videos on how you can use BoxChat to do some pretty good stuff with it. Recently, it got some pretty great new updates, and I wanted to talk about them. I'll also tell you how you can now use BoxChat with Ader, as well as Klein, to generate some cool stuff without paying a lot for the APIs. First of all, if you don't know about BoxChat, let me tell you about it. BoxChat is an all-in-one AI platform that allows you to use multiple AI models from different providers in one place for a much lower cost than if you subscribe to each provider individually. If you subscribe to each provider individually, you'd likely end up paying around $100 per month. But BoxChat gives you access to all these models for just $18, which is really great. Not only that, but you also get access to OpenAI models, Anthropics models, Perplexity, Gemini, Grok, Flux, and Stability, all integrated into just one platform, which is also pretty amazing. Apart from that, you also get a bunch of AI tools that you can use with these models, like an AI playground, where you can chat with all the models simultaneously, along with Flux and Stable Diffusion Image Playground, and a bunch of other stuff. They have also recently added vision support to all the models that support vision, which is great. Not just that, it now also allows you to create custom assistants similar to ChatGPT's GPT store. And today, we'll use that to create a coding assistant tailored to our needs. But before that, let's look at the pricing. So, we have three tiers here. The first is $18 per month, giving you 1,500 essential messages and 300 advanced messages. If you remember, it was previously based on AI credits, but as many of you ask them to simplify it, they have now made it simple. You can now send 1,500 messages to essential models and 300 messages to advanced models. There's also 100 image generations, which is great considering the price. Then there's also the $28 per month, which gives you unlimited essential messages, along with 1,500 advanced messages and 300 image generations. Lastly, the best value is $44 per month, giving you unlimited essential, as well as advanced messages and 1,000 image generations. So, these are pretty cool, and it's a great value for sure. You can also use my coupon code, CODEKING25, for a 25% discount on these already great and affordable plans. Besides that, there's also a lot of new stuff like the AI agents and vision support that has also been added. So, let's check them out, and I'll also tell you how you can use it with Ader and Klein to generate some pretty good stuff for free. Anyway, once you're logged in, you'll see this page. Now first of all, you have a bunch of features here. You can send messages here and start a chat. You also have the option to choose models here. It has all the models, and if you don't want to be overwhelmed, you can also customize the model list by using this option. Here, you can choose the models you want to use and keep everything organized, which is great. So, once you have that configured, you can select the model you want to use and send messages and chat quite easily. As you chat, the history of your chats will also be available here, and you can go back and forth between chats if you want. They've also updated it to now support images, if the model supports it. So, you can go here, Upload documents if you want to chat about documents, or you can upload images. Once you upload the image and enter your message, it should be able to view the image and let you chat with it, which is a great option that gives you all the options you'd want. Apart from this, you have the image playground where you can generate images quite easily with flux, as well as stable diffusion, 
along with the aspect ratio you want to use, which is great. Now, you also have the playground option, where you can select a bunch of options and layouts, and use that to generate content from multiple models in one place, which is really useful if you want to test and compare results. I use this a lot to generate stuff and compare, and it's really good for that. But apart from all this, you can see that we have a new option here called Assistant, which allows you to create your own custom assistant. Or you can also select from some basic assistant templates as well. Let me show you how to create an assistant with it. So just hit the Create Assistant option, and once you do that, it will ask for the assistant's name, description, model, and prompt, along with an optional avatar. So, I just went ahead, wrote all this down, and made my own coding assistant with it. I wrote a pretty simple prompt with a few basic instructions for what I want from it. Once you do that, just save it, and you'll see your assistant. You can easily chat with your assistant, which is amazing for sure. So, this is super cool, as it allows you to customize the system prompt and create your own assistant, which is amazing. Now, these are some features, but as I said, I'm also going to show you how to do coding with it using Ader and Klein. Doing that is pretty easy with Ader, as I showed in my previous videos. Anyway, just get your Ader updated or installed as needed with this command. Once done, we'll need to configure a basic model in Ader via an API that can take the messages from BoxChat and apply it. I recommend using Gemini or Sambanova. I used Gemini in my previous video, so I'll use Sambanova this time. Just get the Sambanova API key, export your API key like this, and then change the Ader model to Sambanova Llama. Then, you can use the Ader Apply Clipboard Edits option along with the file name, applying it to wherever you want with the file name. Here, I created a simple Minesweeper game with BoxChat. I can just copy it, go to Ader, and apply clipboard edits with the file name, and it will apply to the file. If we run it, you'll see it works pretty well. This is the best option because you can get the benefit of a model like Sonnet or even O1 and just apply edits with it. For usage with a bigger repository, you can also check out my previous video and just replace BoxChat with ChatGPT, as I showed, to get even better results. Apart from this, if you want to use BoxChat with Klein, you can just configure Klein with a model from Sambanova or Gemini. In this case, I have it configured with Gemini here, as it's fully free. Then you can take the generated code from BoxChat, put it in a markdown file, and use Klein to apply the changes in that markdown file to the file you want, which works quite well. This is how you can use BoxChat in coding as well, without compromising on quality. I think BoxChat was already cool, and it keeps getting better day by day with all these new features. Make sure you check them out and use my coupon code CODEKING25 to get a 25% discount on these great deals. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.